love couple activities. My favorite couple activities are simple as just laying in bed together, listening to music, doing some bed dancing. Just trying to recreate Jay-Z, Beyonce videos. <laughs> and I sing the Beyonce part. <laughs> and she does the Jay-Z rap. <laughs> and every time Jay-Z says the N-word, I say it for her, because she's probably a white girl. <laughs> oh, so fun. Your reaction was exactly like I thought it would be without looking at you. <laughs> I grew up in the south side of Chicago, which is a very rough area. I'm not a tough person. <laughs> and a lot of women I was going after, especially a lot of black women, they liked a tougher type of black dude, because that's what they saw, you know? That's what the media showed you, you know? There's only like one or two types of black dudes they try to show you, and there's so many different types, you know? They only like to show you a couple, you know, like thug or dead. <laughs> and that's not cool. There's so many different types of black people, just so many different types of any type of people. There's just so many different types of black dudes in general. There's like basketball niggas, there's dragon ball niggas. <laughs> I'm a proud Dragon Ball nerd. <laughs> That's just who I am, and sometimes I didn't work with the women I was going after, you know? They wanted more of a tough, strong, dominant black man. So many of them were like that to the point where I, I, I just started pretending like I was that, you know? If they didn't know me, if they didn't know who I was, if they didn't know I was a Care Bear cousin inside. <laughs> But eventually they figure it out and they'd be like, look, Ron, I'm sorry. You're, you're a good guy. And that's the problem. <laughs> I'm looking for a tough, strong, dominant black man to help take care of me. And I'd be like, well, quite frankly, So am I. <laughs> you don't think I want to ride on the rock shoulders? <laughs> Eating an ice cream cone? Girl, do you even look at my vision board? He's Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The Beyonce for boys. <laughs> oh, The Rock is perfect. He can do no wrong in my eyes. If I was out on a date with a lady and we were all cuddled up together, which sometimes happens, and then The Rock saw us, and he was like, oh, you guys make a cute couple, but not anymore, because I want to fuck her. <laughs> I'd be like, well, sir, I'm going to check with her first. <laughs> oh, but on this end, there are no issues. <laughs> I mean, if The Rock was hitting on me, if his muscular finger went against the nape of my neck, oh. <laughs> I mean, I like to think I'm straight, but in this days, and you know, who really knows? <laughs> Maybe I am a rock bottom, I don't know. Look, all I really know is if The Rock was hitting on me, I'd just be like, oh. I'm gonna have to see where he's going with this. 
but I think I smell what The Rock is cooking. <laughs> smell that dick. <laughs> That's fun to say. <laughs> smell The Rock's dick. Glad you guys like that. <laughs> My mom hates that joke. <laughs> not, not, not the rock dick part of the joke. She actually likes that part of it. She keeps trying to get me to add more to it. She's like, talk about the veins. Talk about the veins. <laughs> <laughs> My mom doesn't hate the rock dick part of that joke. She hates the dating white ladies part. Uh, <laughs> much like you seem to. Uh, <laughs> And that's fine. That's a perspective. Uh, you know, it's just that my mom would prefer it if I were to settle down with a nice full black lady. Here are some nice full black grandbabies. Because my mom's a racist. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fun to say that out loud. And, and it's just true. My mom's a little racist. She's a little homophobic. My mom's like an old-timey southern conservative white man. That somehow got trapped <laughs> in a poor black lady's body. Just like the best episode of Quantum Leap ever. <laughs> I just try not to judge my mom, you know? I just love my mom to death. And She's a little racist. It's okay. A lot of older people are. She doesn't make laws or anything. <laughs> she said, my mom grew up in a different time, you know? My mom grew up in a time when racism was very prevalent in America, not like today. <laughs> oh, what have you heard? Well, my mom grew up in a time where racism was more in your face. Everybody was doing it. Nobody knew why. It was like pogs. <laughs> That's a weird joke. If you got it, or if you didn't get it, you're right. <laughs> and it's a weird joke to put at the end of your entire set. <laughs> After you earned everybody's trust. <laughs> but I think it's one of the best jokes that sums up my entire act, if not my life. <laughs> Where I know like half the people around me are like, I don't know what the fuck this nigga's talking about. <laughs> But there's always like one cool dude in the back who's like, I got a slammer in my pocket right now. <laughs>